Hello guys, welcome to another review with me. Today I'm going to be doing another beer review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing something from the Noon Whistle Brewery. In the Noon Whistle Brewery, I'm going to let you know where that is. That is in Lombard, Illinois. And it's right off of Roosevelt Road. It's kind of hard to see right off the road because it's kind of in a one of those uh, mini mall, uh, you know, where it has like a lot of small businesses attached to one large building. And it's kind of like far off the road behind a parking lot. There's not a lot of signs for it. But if you do find it, it's worth it. Um, I've tried a few things there and I've liked it. You go in there and it smells like the malt is just like cooking up right in front of you. It's like that really intense barley malt smell when you walk in there. They allow you to bring food in there. I think they have some snacks, uh, but they don't really have a food menu, but they have food trucks, I believe, on Fridays. Um, you can all find that out at noonwhistlebrewing.com. Anyway, I'm going to crack this open. If I didn't say what this was, it is called Squishy Gummy. They have a... At Noon Whistle, they have a line of beers called Gummy. And uh, every month, I think, every month or so, they come out with a different gummy variety. This is Squishy Gummy. This is a North East India Pale Ale. And you can see it's a 7.1%. ABV. So let's give this a pour. I don't know if you saw that, but I did see some solids fall in there. So I believe this is an unfiltered. It doesn't say unfiltered, but you can tell. I don't know if the camera picked it up. There were some solid pieces that fell in there. Some like yeast or something. But here's what it looks like. It's definitely not see-through at all. Yeah, you can see some solids floating around in there too. But uh, if you've ever had unfiltered beer, you know drinking all those pieces of yeast is perfectly fine. Um, it's a matter of taste, I guess. Some people... Uh, might be able to detect that when they're drinking it. I don't ever really notice when I'm drinking an unfiltered beer. It doesn't really do anything negative or positive for it. It's just there. But you can see it's like a really nice golden straw colored beer. It's a North East India Pale Ale. I'm not sure what the direction does to it. It makes it different than a regular IPA. Let me give a, a, a sniff of the beer. Definitely hoppy. A little bit of sweetness to it. I don't know if I smell like gummy candy or not. Let's give it a taste. It does have a nice mouthfeel to it, like, you can't really, it's not really viscous, but it does, like, coat your mouth when you're drinking it. And it's very, very much like an India Pale Ale, where you get that bright hoppiness to it, but there's also, like, a sweetness to it. Um, so it's not like, uh, a lot of people think IPAs are, like, too bitter. Um, it just makes your face pucker up. And this one's not like that. You, you you taste some of that hoppy bitterness, but there's also like a sweetness to balance it out. At a 7.1%, it is more of a intense beer. Definitely not as, as intense as some like dark stouts. Uh, but this is probably not like a sessionable um, 
drink all day type of beer. I think one or two of these and you're definitely going to start feeling it. But uh, that being said, the flavor is there. It's good. A balance of bitter and sweet. It has a really nice color to it. I enjoy like almost like that orange juice or grapefruit juice kind of look to it. I know Noon Whistle isn't that uh, well known, especially outside of Chicago area. Um, but uh, everything I've tried from there I've liked. If you've ever tried Noon Whistle, let me know in the comment section below. If you've tried any other gummy varieties or anything from there. And what's your favorite Northeast India Pale Ale? Cheers, guys. Until next time. Bye.